Hi everybody, um, this is Erin and it, this is day, um, it's actually day four, but yesterday I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't do a video, so it's day three of Borderline Personality Disorder, um, a diary. I did not do notes either, which I probably should have, um, but um, I figured I, I, I kind of didn't want to do this today. I wanted to give up on this little project I have, but I decided it was best um to go back to it. So yesterday I had a really rough day. Uh, not even rough. I was exhausted, uh, working, doing different things. Um, and I am not good at doing that. <laughs> um, having too much stuff to do, um, coming at me all at once. I never was good at it. Um, probably something to do with the borderline, but the, a lot of re the more responsibilities I have, um, the harder I struggle. Um, so here I am back today. Um, I'm going to try even when I'm tired to do the videos. Um, today is my day off. Thank God. Uh, I did do some cleaning and some normal things. Um, I feel a little bit peaceful because I'm away from work and the demand, the social demands of that and the time constraints. Um, I, it is very hard, and I'm sure anybody that struggles with this, to maintain a job with borderline personality disorder. So I kind of feel like I am out of jail today. Um, I did have my DBT group yesterday morning, and I'm so grateful for the DBT group. Um, a couple things that I, I just kind of would like to say that I, I think would help people. Uh, the first thing being that it took me years to find this DBT group. Um, DBT really is the answer. It's just, I don't know why it's the answer, but it is. Um, I can go in there suicidal. I can go in there without any hope. And I, I always come out and think, wow, that was easy. Um, it clicks. It makes sense. Um, I have gone. Now, I live in a, a, a metropolis. It's not a huge city, but it's a, fa it's a fairly large area. Um, I have gone to at least 15 different psychologists who sucked. Um, I know that borderlines tend to, you know, generalize that and things like that, um, but they did. <laughs> I gave them all chances for a long period of time, and, and it was they were not good for my mental health. Um, additionally, and I, I know, again, this goes back to the borderline. There are times, you know, that you think people don't like you, and they do, um, but I can tell a hundred percent that some of my psychologists were annoyed with me. Um, kind of like Aaron, we didn't, we already talk about this, especially women. Um, as much as they wouldn't admit it, I knew that they were, and, and that was hurtful to me. It kind of re-traumatized me. Um, I annoyed them in some way and, um, that was hurtful. That, that was bad. So I'm glad that I did find um, a therapist or, you know, an office where I can go to. Um, I'm trying to think what I was going to say. I should have wrote notes. Um, anyways, I did not find DBT for years. This DBT group is over an hour away and it's in the middle of the country. And you would think that, you know, me being in a very populated area, there would be so much help. Uh, so many DBT groups and there's not yeah I go into the middle of the country and thank God find this great DBT group so I don't know why I, I think it has to do somewhat with maybe um, insurance I think a lot of it has to do with insurance and and, um, and I think that a lot of therapists that I went to um, almost just had like it was more a business model like come to our therapy place so I don't know it's just crazy to me um and every time something bad happens people are like there's help out there and you can get mental health help and you can get mental health help what you can't get is good mental health help um and that's terrible so I'm so glad that I found this group um a couple things I do the therapists there are outstanding um and in January, I'm going to start going to see one of their therapists. Another kind of insurance type of, of um, unfortunate thing is because they're out of my network, there's a thousand dollar deductible, which I can't afford. Um, so I'm going to wait till the first of the year and get a flexible spending card. Um, 
to uh, be able to use that um, towards my deductible. So I, I can't wait for January. It's sad um, that I have to do that because I need DBT and I, and I benefit so much. Like I'm, I'm very treatable. I'm very treatable. I want to get help. Um, I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Like, so it's sad that I had a struggle like that and it really pisses me off. Um, it pisses me off that, you know, people think that there's all this help out there when there's not. And it pisses me off that the insurance companies would not, um, approve me to go to a DBT therapist. Um, and I, I, and I apologize. I keep my hands hurt here. Um, I know that it's all about the money, uh, but going forward, I mean, I, I probably cost them more money, um, with medicines, with going to the doctor. If I was ever hospitalized, you would think that they would just let me go see a DBT therapist. So that's a struggle. Um, and it's a myth in this country that mental health care is so readily available and it's a shame that it's not so um but i am very glad that i do go to that dbt group i um take fmla in the morning in order to go to that dbt group which is a blessing thank god for fmla because i think um fmla was in 1993 is when it was signed into law but think about before that i mean you couldn't help yourself so that's a blessing and to anybody that does work um, don't be afraid to take your FMLA. That's what it's there for. That's your right. Um, don't ever be so loyal to a company. I don't care what the company is that you're afraid to take care of your mental health. Um, anyways, the module that we are doing at our DBT group is interpersonal effectiveness. Um, what, which is what I need more than anything. Um, I don't have the papers in front of me, uh, but I know that we're doing making requests, uh, and, and I struggle with that. I don't struggle with making requests as far as, I mean, on a business maybe point, like I can call and order pizza and then call and cancel it or requests like that for the general, from the general public, I have no problem making. What I struggle with is, is requests from people, um, that I'm friends with or that my family members that I don't want to disappoint. And it's not even big requests um, that I struggle with because I think if I needed help moving, I would call my friends and family and say, help me move. Um, it's the little nuances of every day and the, and the little requests. Um, sometimes the unspoken requests. I mean, like when I get out of work and um, I'm more introverted. So I just, I'm hanging out with a friend and I'm kind of in the mood to spend time with them and I really wanna spend time with them, but I, I'm not Gabby. Uh, you know, I, I struggle with the request of just being quiet, even though it's not a um, direct request. It, me being quiet and kind of giving a little hint um, is a request. So those are the requests that I struggle with because then I feel like I'm gonna disappoint the other person and, and I feel like they're going to be heartbroken, which is ridiculous. Um, but I feel like not only are they going to be upset and disappointed in me, I feel like they're going to be heartbroken that I'm not acting how they need me to act. Um, I also think that they won't love me um, if in that moment um, I don't give them what they want um, or what they need um, or mirror them. Um, and it's terrible of all the borderline symptoms of all the borderline issues that is by far the most damaging in my life and that is by far the hardest habit to break and the most effect the most catastrophic it has catastrophically affected my life and um, I mean I can do well as far as work I can you know there's things that I can succeed at uh, and, and you would think, and really that is a little thing, um, but I struggle with it. I uh, feel guilt. I feel so much guilt for not, it's not even not doing things. Because if somebody asked me if I had 20 bucks, I'd give them 20 bucks. It's not not doing things. It's just not mirroring or acting how they want me to act. Um, I had a friend it was a friend, it's a friend of a friend, so I've known her for a long time, but her and I just started um, hanging out 
she had asked me about yoga class um because she has her anxiety issues and things like that and I said sure I said you know come with me and we went to a meditation class and I was nervous um because I've never hung out with her with just her and I and afterwards she had said to my sister she said thank god for Erin I don't know what I'd do without her and I think most people would be like oh you know she really likes me but I just I started crying because I felt like now I have to take care of her and I'm her whole sanity and if I don't take care of her she'll break and I don't want that responsibility um I felt afraid to disappoint her um and it's just so weird and my sister said you guys had such a different experience you know she was all happy like oh you know we had a great time thank god for her and you were afraid so I want friends I want to be friends with her but I cannot sustain the perfect thank God for Erin. I'm sure there's times she's going to be annoyed with me. I'm sure she's not going to feel like that 24-7. So that is what I struggle with. Um, so for today, I'm going to end this. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be a little more organized and I'll write stuff down. Um, and we'll continue with this. Thank you. Bye.